Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the president, CEO, and founding chairman of the U.S. Green Building Council, Rick Fadrizi. Hello, everybody. Welcome, Green Build. How's everybody tonight? I like that. I like that. I'm honored to be with all of you here tonight in the beautiful city of Toronto. This year at GreenBuild, we applaud the work you've accomplished as green building professionals. And we celebrate the work you continue to do to advance our shared mission of sustainability around the world. Thank you all for joining us. Bonsoir et bienvenue, mesdames et messieurs. J'ai l'honneur d'être ici avec vous ce soir dans cette belle ville de Toronto. Merci de nous avoir rejoints ce soir. Thank you. Tonight I'm pleased to report that despite a global economy that continues to affect every aspect of our lives, we come here tonight with optimism and determination. This year, our 10th year, is our time to celebrate our growing global movement. And I'm thrilled to report that GreenBuild and our movement is thriving. We have more than 23,000 registered guests here for this conference from 108 countries. <laughs> representing the extraordinary international reach of our movement. This is the first green build ever beyond U.S. borders, and our success here is largely due to the collaboration with our amazing sister organization, the Canada Green Building Council. It is my great pleasure to introduce my counterpart here in Canada and our host for this week, from the Canada GBC, their president and CEO, Thomas Mueller. Good evening, Toronto. For, for those of you that are not from Toronto, this is uh, one of our temples that we are across the country where we pray every year from about October to May that one day the Stanley Cup shall return to Canada. I'd like to thank Rick. Um, the Canada, Canada Green Building Council has had a great part in UHCBC with Rick Fidrizi at the helm. And his leadership, LEAD has become the foremost green building standard in the world. And as you know, I'm also a member of the World Green Building Council. I'd like to take this opportunity to announce that Rick has been elected chair on Monday of this week. Please join me in congratulating Rick as chair of World Green Building Council. With his leadership, I'm sure that World GBC will continue to broaden its influence and cement its role as one of the leading voices in a global sustainability movement. We are thrilled at the Canada Green Building Council to welcome the U.S. Green Building Council and the international green building community to Toronto. This is the first green build outside of the U.S., which is fitting because we and USGBC we had such a close relationship over many years. Together, we advanced green buildings in North America beyond anything that we ever imagined. In Canada, the success of our relationship is shown by the 3,000 lead registered projects and the 500 that have been certified since 2004. It is also fitting that Greenville is, is in Toronto, which is a center of green building innovation in Canada. The Ontario government is constructing and retrofitting its building to lead. They currently have $32 billion worth of projects underway. The Toronto and Region Conservation Authority 
showcases the best in green building at its living city campus outside of Toronto. The Toronto waterfront and the downtown office tower construction retrofits are leading edge globally, with many targeting lead gold in new and existing buildings. And so is the city's green roof policy, which is unique in Canada, uh, uh, among the cities in Canada. So as we look forward to what's next, we see an industry that's really firmly established and is becoming more and more diverse. At the CACBC, we continue to support innovation on the next generation of buildings. We're encouraging living buildings, and we're encouraging passive house technology. These are the two new leading concepts. But this is only part of the solution. We, find, we need to find ways to engage a broader market in more existing buildings. I think that's very important. Demonstrating performance and measurable outcomes is key to this engagement. I'm very encouraged to see how the global discussion on existing buildings and performance has been elevated over the last two years here in Canada and globally. In Canada, we have our own tool, GreenUp, which allows owners to compare and improve the performance of their existing buildings. But we also have to understand that in order to meet more ambitious environmental targets, we will not get there on a building-by-building -building basis. We need to think about neighborhoods. We think, think about communities. And we need to think about city scale, about green cities globally. CHGBC is working at the Portland, Oregon Sustainability Institute to bring eco-districts to Canada. It involves revitalizing existing neighborhoods and building new ones with sustainability in mind. Alternate transportation choices, downtown living, food growing, urban agriculture, green buildings, district energy systems, a summer the key ideas behind eco-districts in green cities. Toronto, and if you've had the opportunity to get out a little bit, is already on the leading edge on the this thinking in, in Canada. It has a deep lake cooling system, which provides a low carbon options to the downtown office buildings, including the convention center. Learning about what other cities and communities are doing here at home and across the globe is so, it's, it's very essential on what's next to the industry. Green Build provides us with that opportunity. Once a year, we can come together to learn from each other, to find new ways to collaborate and find new ideas. The Green Building movement is now international. We have 89 Green Building Councils worldwide now, and 118 countries represented at Green Build. That's amazing. This global network allows us to bring about change on a large scale, on a very large scale, and create opportunities for trade and for jobs. Come and visit us at Canada House, which is just across the convention center, the South Building, uh, the Steam Whistle Brewery, and there's a big beaver in front of it, so you really can't miss it. Have a beer and learn about the growing and innovative green building industry in Canada. Thank you, and have a great time in Greenville in Toronto. Thank you.